Welcome back, Paul Hamilton here. Let's look at Hopscotch Lesson 3, adding a character and um, making the character do something um, that's a little bit random. I'm looking at the old Frogger game, if you can remember, um, trying to get across the road. I'm gonna kinda try and do something similar. So I'm just gonna move my octopus character down the bottom of my stage. And up the top next to the octopus, you can see a plus sign. That is where we add a new character. So in this case, I'm gonna add the gorilla by tapping him. And when I tap the gorilla, um, it, it will open up some new code. So you can see all that code for the octopus is gone. Now all the code that I put in will be um, to do with the gorilla. So this time, when, uh, my drop down menu, I'm going to press when I tap the object, which is the gorilla. The object is the gorilla. What do I want the gorilla to do? Well, I actually want him to move across the um, the stage and I know that by my grid the stage is about 900 across. I also want him going back across the stage which is minus 900 and I want him to keep doing that. So if I go down to the controls down the left hand side you can see the repeat and end. So what I'll do is I'll drag that over, drag my code inside it, I want that to repeat 10 times now, when I tap the gorilla, you can see that in the code, he goes backwards and forwards across the X axis um, 10 times. So I'm going to move my gorilla up about halfway up my stage. So you can see there that, okay, my octopus is going to try and get from the bottom of the stage to the up by tilting my iPad up, down, left and right. And my gorilla uh, will be moving at backwards and forwards. So let's test it out and see how we did. So the grill is not moving because I haven't tapped it. Now if I tap him, he's going to go backwards and forwards um, at a good pace and I can actually try and manoeuvre around. So I'm going to try and tilt and get past him. Oh, oh, just got through. But that's working really well at the moment. My grill is doing everything that I want. The octopus is doing everything I want. The next lesson, we're going to look at um, building in a collision. So what happens when the octopus is trying to get across and he actually collides with the gorilla? We need, we need something to happen there. Um, the other thing that we could do is we could add a few more um, uh, characters that we could have going backwards and forwards by following that exact coding um, to make it a little bit more challenging. But that's, that's the next lesson. Let's wait until we do lesson four where we do the collisions. Paul Hamilton here signing off.